In this lesson, we'll learn how to create and work within a Maya project. All right. So this concept of working within projects and setting up a project within Maya is definitely not one of the most exciting topics. However, the idea of projects is very, very important to working in Maya and making sure that you can keep your work organized. So within Maya, if we were to go up to File Open or just simply click, click on the Open icon, you can see that Maya will actually default to a certain folder. Now, if you're a Windows user, typically this will be found inside your My Documents, inside Maya, Projects, and inside what's called the Default folder. Now, whenever it comes to working within Maya, uh, the idea of creating a project is, again, going to be a very, very important aspect to keeping your work organized. So let's go ahead and we'll just cancel out of this window. And let's start by making our own project. So we'll go to File and down to Project Window. So essentially, a project is where Maya will keep all of its different uh, assets and things like that organized. So any scene files that you develop, any uh, texture files that you're using, things like that can be contained within the project that you're working with. So that way you can now take your entire project and then share that very easily. So within this project window, uh, again, you can see my default project that Maya will uh, default to initially. Now what we can do is make our own new project. So we'll click on this little new button right over here. And the first thing we can do is define a location for this. So we can put this anywhere we want. We can browse to a certain folder if we want to, or we can just type one in if we want. So let's say maybe uh, on my C drive, I can just put this in a folder called intro to Maya underscore 2012. The thing that you want to keep in mind in Maya is that you don't want to use namespaces. So any kind of a space that you would normally put in there, uh, you'll want to get in the habit of using underscores instead. So I'll make a folder called Intro to Maya 2012, and I'll make a forward space to inside that folder put something else. Uh, let's say maybe intro underscore Maya underscore general information. Okay, so we'll call this the general section. Or actually, instead of uh, making a new folder uh, in there, what I want to do is actually have uh, Intro to Maya General. Uh, we want that to be the name of my project. So instead of actually putting that in there, let's call this again Intro underscore Maya underscore General. Okay, very nice. So within uh, this Intro to Maya General, again, we can now control uh, folders that are created. So we will now have a folder called Scenes, where we can actually save all our scene information, uh, any images that we're going to be working with, uh, render information, particles, and so on and so forth. Now we could name these uh, anything that we wanted, if we wanted to name these maybe something special. But for most situations, I find that uh, just leaving these set to their default uh, namings will work just fine. So now, We'll go ahead and click Accept. Okay, so now it really doesn't look like anything has happened. But if I were to open up my Windows Explorer and take a look in my C drive inside this Intro to Maya 2012 folder, which we just created, you can see here's my Intro to Maya General. This is the project that Maya just built for us. Now, if you double click on this, you can see within there we have a folder uh, that has been appropriately named for us. Again, this has all been done automatically, so our scenes folder, images folder, uh, particles, things like that. So now if I were to go into Maya and once again click on either open or save, you'll notice that now Maya is looking inside of this project that we just built. Now we can actually jump back and forth between multiple projects if we want to. So if we were to uh, cancel out of this, there's a couple of different ways of getting to this. We could go up to File and then Set Project. So maybe if we have a project that we had already built or if maybe someone has given us a project to work with and now we want to work out of that project, we can uh, actually set an existing project. So inside of this Intro to Maya 2012 uh, folder that I created earlier, you can see here's my Intro to Maya General. Now, if uh, we are in a situation where maybe we have uh, a whole set of projects for uh, the modeling section, uh, again, these are new projects that I've just quickly added in here, not uh, necessarily during this particular lesson. But now if we wanted to, let's say, work out of some of the 
uh, projects that were maybe given to us for a modeling exercise. We can go into modeling, intro to Maya modeling, and now if we just go into this uh, root directory where you can actually see these folders, now inside of here just click set. Okay, now again, really doesn't look like anything's happened, but what you'll notice now is that if I go up to open, you can see now it's looking inside of this modeling project that I just pointed it to. And by default, it's going to be looking inside of this scenes directory. So again, this idea of working with projects is going to be very, very important for keeping your work organized. Now, in the scene files that we are providing for this uh, entire course, we're actually going to have uh, things split up into different projects. So learning how to set your projects appropriately is going to be really, really important for actually working along with the lessons that we provide. So once you get into something like the animation section of this training, you'll need to go up to File, Set Project. And uh, if we wanted to, uh, let's say, maybe set the uh, project that relates to the animation scene files that Delano will be showing you here in a little bit, we can go into Animation, into the Intro to Maya Animation section. And again, once we see all of these different folders, click Set. And now the next time we click Open, now it's looking inside the animation project that we just pointed it to. Now, once you set a project, Maya actually will remember that for future reference. So what I can actually do is, in this current project pull-down menu, I could actually pull this and jump quickly between any projects that I might have set previously. So if I wanted to go quickly back to my general information, you can see now we are looking inside this general uh, project. Go into Scenes. And there we are, which in our case, we don't have anything yet. If we were to go into Maya Modeling, again, one of the projects that we set just a moment ago. Now we're looking inside that folder. We can get into the scenes for that, and so on and so forth. So again, once we set a project, we should have access to it from this quick little pull-down menu, so we can very quickly jump into and start working with that project. Okay, so that's a look at how we can create a Maya project from scratch as well as how we can come in and start to direct Maya to uh, actually work within and look within existing project directories.